Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I hope you've been doing great. In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you what I use for a toxin-free smile. So I am a mama to one, and I'm also currently expecting our second child. And there's just something about having that little person inside of you and what you learn when you're pregnant, that what you eat, what you drink, the products that you use for self-care and for cleaning the home, that those things can actually affect the well-being of your child. I mean, it's a little bit overwhelming to think about, even down to how you're feeling can affect your child. So um, that started a journey for me to try to have a toxin-free home, a toxin-free lifestyle. It's definitely been an incremental changes. And so the journey started first with my cleaning supplies. That seemed the obvious place to find chemicals is in cleaning supplies. And then I started moving into personal care. So that's what this video is all about, is personal care in the realm of oral hygiene and mouth health. So let's go ahead and get right into to this video and I'm going to show you what I use and even what I make to have a toxin free smile. So the first tool that I use is this copper tongue scraper. I use this before I brush and tongue scraping is done in other parts of the world. It's starting to gain popularity here in the United States and you basically start at the back of your tongue with this u-shaped tool and you scrape forward and that removes bacteria. Our tongues collect a lot of bacteria and if you don't get that very clean, like even more than brushing with a toothbrush, that bacteria is just kind of hanging out in your mouth and it's not good for your teeth. So I bought mine from this brand called Wowie on Amazon. I have an affiliate link below. And like I said, it's pure copper. Um, so that is an antibacterial naturally. So to me, that's the best material to get your tongue scraper from. You can buy them on eBay for cheaper, but I'm not sure about the quality of those. The next thing that I'm gonna share with you is my homemade toothpaste. It's made out of a natural sweetener. Xylitol is the best option because it is actually helps prevent cavities. And then some bentonite clay, which is a great source of calcium if you get the right kind. And then this is called spirulina. You'll find this in healthy smoothies, like green smoothies. And it's an amazing source of calcium as well, and as, lo uh, as well as some wonderful minerals. And so this, recipe was focusing on remineralization of the teeth. And then I also have some Melaleuca tea tree oil, which is great for your gums and overall oral health. Doesn't taste that great, but it does the job that I want. So I wanna show you how easy it is to actually make your own toothpaste. Uh, my first step is going to grind my rock salt into a super fine powder. If you buy your salt in a granulated form, your natural salt in a granulated form, you probably won't have to do this step but mine was thick rock salt, so I wanted to get it extra fine, kind of like a powdered sugar, so it wasn't so abrasive on the gums. So this worked perfectly for this, my electric spice grinder. So it's really important that if you're using salt, that you wanna get a natural salt. This one has 80 trace minerals in it, and that's what I wanted, those minerals to apply to my teeth. You can also use baking soda in place of that salt, and we are going to be adding in the dry ingredients. Again, the bentonite clay, you wanna make sure that you get the one that's calcium because you can also get bentonite clay that is sodium. So it's important you get the right one. And now that we have our dry ingredients together in the spirulina, we are going to mix this together. And basically to make your own toothpaste is super easy. You just have to have the right ingredients on hand and they're very easy to get a hold of if you shop online. And I'll have some resources below So now I'm gonna be adding in my essential oils and I'm adding it in at this stage while it's still in a powder form so that it mixes well into the toothpaste. and doesn't run into any issues with mixing with the water. So the type of essential oils that you'll choose for your toothpaste, if you choose to make your own toothpaste, should address your particular issues. Um, gum health was important to me. I have some gum recession in one area particularly, so I wanted to address that. Now you can keep your tooth paste um, actually in a powder form so not a paste and store it that way I'm going to go ahead and mix some water with mine to make it into an actual paste the benefit of keeping it as a tooth powder and mixing in water as needed is the extended shelf life you know you can just mix all the powder stuff together and just keep it in a bottle until you tell you need to mix them up to brush your teeth and I think probably using um, just some filtered water in a bottle under the sink would be a great option so you can see how well this comes together into a fluffy toothpaste 
And then now comes the question of storage. So a nifty way to store your toothpaste is in one of these squeeze bottles. I got this one from Target um, a long time ago. And it's important that your plastic is, of course, PBA free since this is something you're putting into your body. There are a lot of issues with plastic and chemicals in plastic that can leach into foods and personal hygiene products. It's really hard to avoid because it's just the way that it works. It's so convenient to be able to have the functionality of the squeezable bottle. As you can see here, it just makes it so easy to squeeze out your toothpaste. Of course, another option though, instead of using a squeeze bottle with the plastic is to use glass. So you can keep it in a jar and scoop out as needed and uh, that would work um, but yeah it's not as functional but it is healthier so if you find you just cannot do without your regular toothpaste that has chemicals in it such as fluoride and other items uh, fluoride is known to negatively affect the thyroid which can cause all kinds of issues and a lot of people have thyroid issues and it might be due to toothpaste so if you find you just can't do without this toothpaste your fluoride toothpaste you can use liquid kelp supplement um, or actually an iodine supplement it can be made using other ingredients i believe and that actually helps to counteract the effects of fluoride in the body so that is an option as well. I still don't think it's the healthiest option to use fluoride, but at least this can negate some of the negative effects of fluoride in your toothpaste. So the other thing that I use is this activated charcoal infused bristle brush. By, it's also by Wowie, so you'll find a link for that below as well. I really like the tapered design of this brush and it comes in a pack of four because you should replace your toothbrush I think every three months. So I really like that it has activated charcoal in the bristles because that's an antibacterial, which is really great. Our toothbrushes can collect a lot of bacteria, so that's really good. It's nice that this is biodegradable, it's PBA free, and I really have been enjoying my Wowie products uh, for oral hygiene. So definitely recommend this brand of toothbrush. There's some other good brands out there too, I'm sure. So I didn't get a chance to film the dental floss that I use. I will have the information linked below for what I use for that. Um, as a natural option. So here is the mouthwash that I use. It's by Tom's and it has all natural ingredients, fluoride free of course. And one of the powerful ingredients that it has is xylitol, which I talked about before as being an anti-cavity and that actually helps your saliva produce saliva. So you'll notice that when you're using xylitol products, you'll notice your saliva increase. So the last thing that I wanna to talk to you about is um, oil pooling with organic coconut oil. This is really, really good for removing toxins, uh, remineralizing your teeth. It's great for gum disease, a gum recession. Um, coconut oil has antibacterial properties as well as some other great benefits for the mouth. So basically you put in a spoonful of this in your mouth. I like to do this when I shower because it's just good to multitask with this one because you can do it anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes if you want. Uh, if you don't have that much time, that's fine. I think you still see benefits if you even did it for you know, three to five minutes every day. People have seen amazing benefits. It can also whiten your teeth naturally. So I think you'll really notice a difference. If you take a 30 day oil pulling challenge and you took a before and after photo, I would love to see how that came, came out for you. You can tag me on Instagram if you want. I would love to check that out. Well friends, thank you so much for joining me in this video today. I hope you were inspired and got some tips from uh, learning what I've discovered and what I've been using. And if you have anything you'd like to share with me, please comment below if you found any products that you like or if you've tried any of the things that I shared. I'd love to know what your thoughts were about them. And if you've enjoyed this video and just the topic of toxin-free living, toxin-free self-care, please give this video a thumbs up to let me know that you like this topic and maybe you'd want to see more content on this topic. And I'd be happy to share with you what I've researched and what I've applied in my lifestyle. So I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye.